All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to open up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who wrote well and preached the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hope you like. And uh, today's lesson, I got an uh, article dealing with um, the uh, uh, protests and unrest that's going on over there in the uh, land of uh, Bangladesh. And as you can see, uh, the headline reads, Bangladesh protest death toll near is 180 with more than 2,500 people arrested after days of unrest. You know, and one thing we will see comes to pass, you know, in these last days that will let us know that Yahweh Bashmi Asai is visiting the very earth which he made. It's ultimately the very different, you know, uproars of the people and the commotions we will see in the earth. So, <clears throat> Let's go here uh, in the Apocrypha to um, Second Ezra chapter 9, beginning of verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And also, how do you measure the time diligently? By paying attention to the things that are going on all right, in today's world and uh, uh, lining it up with what the scripture said. All right. It says, um, and when thou seest part of the science past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that are before thee, even from the beginning. So certain things we will see come to pass. Excuse me, Salakia. <coughs> Salakia, forgive me. But uh, certain things we will see come to pass in these last days, um, leading up to our Lord's return, and pretty much the uh the end of this uh, cur current wicked kingdom or current wicked uh, uh age that we're living in right now i would we would be seeing you know various different things such as earthquakes in diverse places and you know, famines pestilences right so on and so forth and also amongst that would be what the uproars of the people so when we see these uh various different you know protests uh playing out throughout the earth these various different cases of uh civil unrest and chaos in the streets so on and so forth and that is the prophecy Right of uproars of the people in the world being played out. Right, and like the scripture goes on to say in verse four, uh, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that are before thee, even from the beginning. You know, the scriptures say this. Let's grab a couple. Um, Isaiah chapter forty-six. Uh. Verses 9 and 10, and this is the Heavenly Father Yahweh speaking. It says, Remember the former things of old, for I am the Most High and there is none else. I am the Most High and there is none like me. And here's the point. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Saying, O me, what are the things that are not yet done? The prophecies which have yet to come to pass. <coughs> Excuse me. It says, Saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Right. So, O me, at the end of the day, Everything that the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai speaks is going to take effect and come to pass. Right? Like Isaiah 55 and 11 says, What? Um, the Lord said that his word shall not uh, return unto him void. Right? And that word void means uh, vain, right? Or without effect. So, ultimately, once again, everything the Lord speaks is going to come to pass, right? Or take effect. Okay? And when we go here to. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 9. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So ultimately, the Lord had already told us of certain things that would happen in these last days, right before they came to pass. And you know, that's why the scriptures say uh, the things written the fourth time are written for our learning. So we can see the things written the fourth time. 
okay, and certain prophecies that uh, are are, are, uh, are written within the scriptures are right, play out and in, in, uh, play out in real time right now. You see, and those things are letting us know. All right, those tokens that are coming to pass in these last days are letting us know that Osmi Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is near. All right, and soon to redeem his people. Okay. So, um, as a matter of fact, let's also grab this and, um, Luke chapter 21. And uh, verse 9, and these are words in the red letter. So this is our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, and be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. So when you go into that word commotions, <laughs> I always have trouble pronouncing the word, the Greek word there. Strong's G 181, Akatastasia, Akatastasia. A katatasia, um, a It says what <clears throat> instability, a state of disorder, disturbance, confusion. And as we go, as we're about to read in the article, this is exactly what's going on right over there in the land of Bangladesh, man. An instability, a state of disorder, disturbance. You see, because <clears throat> if a certain country, right? <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> if a certain country or uh, a certain land, okay, is uh, dealing with civil unrest, you know, the people rioting, you know, uh, certain protests, so on and so forth, that is a, a state of disorder or uh, instability, man, disturbance, you know, as these definitions here for commotion reads. So, uh, going on in the article, <clears throat> It says uh, the number of arrests in in days uh, of violence in Bangladesh passed the 2,500 mark in an AFP tally on Tuesday after protests over employment quotas sparked widespread unrest. Excuse me. <clears throat> At least 174 people have died, including several police officers, according to a separate AFP count of victims reported by police and hospitals. <laughs> it says, what began as demonstrations against politicized admission quotas for sought-after government jobs snowballed last week into some of the worst unrest of Prime Minister uh, Sheikh Hasina's tenure. A curfew was imposed and soldiers deployed across the South Asian country and a nationwide internet blackout drastically restricted the flow of information upending daily life for many. It says, on Sunday, the Supreme Court paired back the number of reserved jobs for specific groups, including the descendants of freedom fighters from Bangladesh's 1971 liberation war against Pakistan. The student group leading the demonstrations suspended its protests uh, Monday for 48 hours. <gasps> Excuse me. With his leader saying they had not wanted reform at the expense of so much blood. So, you know, it's gotten to the point where, you know, a hey, in these very different protests <clears throat> in this uh time period of unrest that you've had you know 174 people die you know which also you know included police officers now one thing we understand according to scriptures that ultimately a hey, all the issues of life and death right belong to Yahweh Bashmi Ashai right when we go to Psalms all right chapter 68 In verse 20, it says, He that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto Yahweh the Lord belong the issues from death. So ultimately, whenever people die in whatever shape, form, or fashion, ultimately the Lord is the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, okay, who ordained that death or deaths are on said individuals, man. All right? <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 32. In verse 39, it says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. So, obviously, once again, a, all all the, the power over life and death right, belongs in the hands of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. All right, point blank and simple. 
Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 11, verse 14. It says prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord, man. So, amen, you know, as it's, it's many as many precepts are going to show you that ultimately, hey, the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemi, is in control of all things, man. You know, life and death and, and ultimately in all aspects of life, man. All right, the Lord has his hands in all things, man. You know? <clears throat> First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. It says, The Lord, Yahweh, killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up, man. Say, so, amen. Simple and straight to the point, man. Hey, it's the Lord, Yahweh, Bashmi, Ashai, right, who kills and makes alive. So, going, uh, going on in the article, it says, um, The restrictions remain in place Tuesday after the army chief said the situation had been brought under control. There was a heavy military presence in uh, Dhaka with bunkers set up at some intersections and key roads blocked with barbed wire. But more people were on the streets as were hundreds of rickshaws. I did not drive rickshaws for the first few days of curfew, but today I, I didn't have any choice. Rickshaw driver hand up told AF AFP, if I don't do it, my family will go hungry. Um, let's see. Let's kind of let's kind of skim through this article. <clears throat> uh, here it says, uh. Uh, young people are being killed at random every day. A unit told AFP hospitals do not reveal the number of wounded, uh, of wounded and dead. And uh, as you can see on the bottom or up under that paragraph, he got a, a photo, you know, of um, you know, various different vehicles set on fire, you know, due to the uproars and protests and so on and so forth. And, you know, one thing, you know, when we when we, you know, bring, you know, these things out and go into these things you see, these these are, you know, really previews. Right. <clears throat> of uh, things that's to come to America, man, you know, the very different uproars of the people, civil unrest, disorder in the streets. A hey, best believe a hey, the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Asha is bringing that to America, man. Um, It says diplomats and DACA also question the government's action with U.S. Ambassador Peter Haas. Telling the foreign minister he has shown on one side of video at a briefing uh, to diplomats. It says uh, government officials have repeatedly blamed the protesters and opposition for the unrest. It says more than 1,200 people are detained over the course of the violence. Nearly half. It says nearly half the 20, uh, 2,580 total were held in DACA. <laughs> and as rule... Um, in industrial areas, according to police officials who spoke to AFP, almost 600 were arrested in the in Chittagong and its rural areas, with hundreds more detentions tallied in multiple districts across the country. Um, it says with around 18 million young people. Uh, and Bangladesh out of work, according to government figures, the June reintroduction of the quota scheme halted uh, since 2018, deeply upset gr uh, graduates facing an acute jobs crisis. And, you know, a hey, people struggling to uh, uh, find jobs, you know, hey, that, that's actually part of prophecy as well, you know, because when we go to. um, <coughs> What's that? um. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, it says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. So, right, the grinder ceasing goes into what? You know, fewer fewer uh, uh, workers and fewer employees. And you see, it's coming to, it's, we coming into a time where pretty much, hey, the, uh, you know, what's also they're experiencing this in Bangladesh right now. But, hey, man, at a certain point in time, man, this is going to happen worldwide where, you know, individuals are going to have a very hard time, okay, seeking work, man, seeking a job.
you know? And ultimately, that goes back to what? The grinder ceasing. So, um, uh, with protests mounting across uh, the country, the Supreme Court on Sunday uh, curtailed the number of reserved jobs from 56% of all positions up to 7%, and mostly for the children and grandchildren of freedom fighters from the 1971 war. While 93% of jobs will be awarded on the merit, the decision fell short of uh, protesters demands to scrap the uh, freedom fighter category altogether. <laughs> so you know what we gonna uh, stop stop the article right there. Um, but hey, like I said, man, you know, you know these various different you know, uproars and things of that nature. Um, hey, man, just just expect these things, you know, to come to America. All right, we'll grab some more scriptures about a scripture or two, and uh, that'll pretty much, you know be the end of the lesson um so let's go here to uh um it's lucky forgive me uh second Ezra chapter 15 and um Beginning in verse 14, it says, uh, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, which ultimately woe goes into death and destruction. All right? It says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. So, hey, we see you no know, protest <clears throat> against the government you know, over there in Bangladesh. You know, but hey, man, hey, that, that's just part of it, man. You know, that, that's, just, that's just part of the uproars. You know, and commotions, man. Hey, we understand, you know, things are going to uh, uh, lead, you know, and ultimately in these last days, we're going to be seeing, you know, more civil unrest, more uproars of the people you know, to the point where people are fighting against one another, killing one another, one another, right? All right, not only rising up against the government, all right, but ultimately rising up against one another. <clears throat> it says, verse 16, for there should be sedition among men, and that word sedition goes into, uh, a uh, speech or action inciting a uh, rebellion against the authority or the government. So ultimately, hey, we're coming into a time where a hey, and it's going to co come to a point in time where a hey, majority of the people that dwell upon the earth, man, a hey, they're not going, you know, go to the government, you know, for help. And it's going to come to a point where a hey, they're going to say, fuck it, you know, and we taking matters into our own hands. You see, because we coming into a time where, you know, ultimately everybody's main goal is going to be survival. And the, the the ability to get by, man, and, and to continue living, man. So when a goal is survival, hey, man, these people they gonna achieve it by any means necessary. It says, um, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. So ultimately, hey, they're not gonna, hey, the people, all right, the the, the common people, the earth, man, they're not going to regard anybody in position of power or anybody in the position position of authority. All right, which is why it goes on to say, right, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power, meaning what the people that dwell upon the face of the earth, ultimately they're going to take matters into their own hands, man. You know, so, hey, man, these are the various different, you know, uproars, you know, people in the world and the various different commotions, right, that we are seeing come to pass, right? And we went into that word commotions, right, in Luke 21, and it says what? Instability, disorder, state of confusion. So... <laughs> You know, yeah, we got this going on in uh, Bangladesh, you know, right now, right? But hey, certain things, you know, we see going on across the faith, uh, across the whole world and other uh, different parts of the earth. Hey, hey, just expect those things to come to America, man. You know, and uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I I'll close out right there. I feel like the point has been made, and uh, you know, I pray that this lesson was edifying to the body. I pray that you got something out of this. And now, without further ado, I would like to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hope you like, and Lord, as I'll see you in the next lesson. Till then, Shalom.